As a boarding academy, UCA has dormitories, a cafeteria, gymnasium, and a host of other buildings used for academic and musical purposes. We're here on the campus of Upper Columbia Academy at the old renovated powerhouse, now power with a capital P for spiritual power. We're going to go inside. We're going to meet some of the students and Sherry Corder, the coordinator of Mission and Outreach. Wow, this is awesome. An entire building dedicated to missions and outreach. Sherry, why do you feel so strongly about all this? We are passionate about personalizing the Great Commission for our students, whether we're sending them to Africa, whether we're sending them to Borneo, whether downtown Spokane. We want them to understand that that commission from Jesus is for them. Hey, come see what we've done. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you Shannon too. Hi. Hi, Shannon. Good to see you. I like that. I Good like that. Stuff. He was playing that in Africa. Really? Yeah. Tell us about it. Um, yeah, actually, I was playing in Africa just a couple of weeks ago. Here, let me show you. Okay. Um, some globe over here. It was about. It was right here, um, in Africa, actually. And uh, what Miss Corder was referring to was um, my violin playing. Pastor Paul had an altar call. Uh, I played Amazing Grace. I was, I was up there playing and concentrating on, on the notes. And then I opened my eyes and there was a sea of people around me. I don't know. I was told later there must have been like a thousand people around me out of 4,000 in the crowd. All these people come forward in the altar call. It was, it was just awesome. I remember being cramped in like trying to figure out where I was going to have the room for my bow. I, I wouldn't trade that experience for the world. Well, although I've never actually been overseas on a mission trip or anything, um, I did have an experience with UCA and we went to the Union Gospel Mission. We were serving these gentlemen as they were coming through to eat and we were serving them and singing at the same time and we turned and noticed that they were just standing there and this one gentleman in particular was just standing there in, in awe and taking in everything we were saying. Later, we talked to him more, and he had told us that he had been a Seventh-day Adventist and wow. went away for, for drinking, and hearing us just made him really feel the thirst for God and made him feel that he needed to come back. Those are powerful testimonies. I just want to tell you that we are proud of both of you. And really the hundreds of others of our young people from all of our academies that have had similar experiences, life-changing experiences for those overseas, but certainly at home as well. Six times a year, UCA students and faculty help Catholic Charities volunteer chore services. They are such a blessing to our clients. Usually what has been required of me is just to send down the work for the kids. I sent down word that if any of the kids wanted to come up on their work day, their hope task force day, we we're going to tear down an old building. Wow, they signed up like crazy. <laughs> and um, 12 boys and one girl came and in four hours had completely dismantled a chicken house built in the 1930s. And I just sat here kind of amazed. <laughs> Right now, we are on standing in my art studio, which is the replacement building for an old, worn-out chicken house, which is now part of my art studio. I've been staying here in Spokane at the Ronald McDonald House. I recently had a baby born premature. One of the joys of living here is these cinnamon rolls that the kids make for us at, from the UCA Academy. Everybody in the Ronald McDonald House seems to enjoy them. They're really good. Hi guys, good morning. Ralph and I want to welcome you UCA students. We are really happy when you come to help us at the Humane Society because we know you're going to do whatever we need you to do with a really cheerful heart about it. Some of you are going to be cleaning puppy pens today. It might not be your favorite, but it'll help us. Uh, you're going to be walking dogs. So if you're ready, we're ready. <laughs> Actually, uh, UCA students have been coming to the Spokane Humane Society for 13 years, helping us out. We can always depend on them to be here and do the work we ask. UCA is a school dedicated to helping young people find direction in life, which can only be fulfilled through a relationship with Jesus Christ. <laughs>